We are, of course, talking about tech czar Nandan Nalekani, who has become increasingly active in the startup space over the last year. We caught up with him to really understand the themes he likes to invest in, the commonality among them, and the problems that he thinks startups should be solving in India. Listen in to what Nandan Nalekani has to say. I look for original ideas. Uh, and which solve uh, you know some India specific issues like Rail Yatri is a is a platform for uh, rail consumers and it allows mm. gives them information mm. on mm. trains coming on time and now they have a marketplace where they can buy mm. when they reach the station. So you know I look for interesting uh, things like that. Sedimac is a professor especially at IIT Bombay mm. who's developed a world class uh, electronic uh, ignition mm. and mm. system mm. and so on. So it's if it sort of has a angle which which I think is interesting, but I'm particularly interested in um, organizing unorganized sectors. India is a nation of unorganized operators. So people. So what other problems do you think startups really need to solve? Because you know you've often said that uh, rather than looking at mental models of the West, we need to look at India specific problems. What other areas do you uh, really? You know, for see? example, a big area is going to be organizing uh, small retailers. You know, mm. today you have large retail which is you know shopper stop and reliance and you know those kind of mm. companies or you have e-commerce mm. people like amazon mm. and flipkart but they you know india is really a country of small retailers so mm. how do you organize them that's also an interesting problem that's waiting to be solved also broadly talking about the startup space you know we've seen some pessimism coming in in terms of markdowns and you know deferrals on campus as someone who's really built a successful company through you know so many cycles uh, what is your own assessment and you know how should entrepreneurs really be handling the current situation no i think ultimately uh, you know you you have to build a sustainable business model mm -hmm. you have to have a path to profitability you need to uh, you know and I think that's some of the challenges that the business to consumer uh, companies will, are facing now. People expect UPI, uh, I mean banks to come on board with UPI yeah. I think by the end of June. Right. Uh, what opportunity do you think uh, you know that will uh, throw up? No, UPI is going to start a revolution. Just yesterday mm. I was in Bombay uh, doing a review at NPCI. Mm. We had a lot of banks. Mm. Uh, they're having a workshop on the 13th and hopefully by the end of the month or early July they will launch. Mm. So the fact that it will be the world's most sophisticated uh, mobile payment system is completely interoperable. Uh, any mobile app of any bank can do a debit to any other bank's uh, account, even if the account is on some other bank. And uh, it's one. It's going to go towards simplicity. Uh, it'll have Aadhaar authentication mm. in the next one year, like the way Samsung has launched mm. that uh, yeah, uh, the thing. Aadhaar, the so yeah, that is an assisted. That's for like yeah, BCs, yeah, but yeah. tomorrow consumers can do it. So all these things are going to make a big difference. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.